Hi, welcome to this tutorial on infrared spectroscopy. In this tutorial, we're going to look at one vinyl, two pyrrolidone, which is a lactam, which is a bit like an amide, and we've also got an alkene in there as well. It's, it's quite an interesting one because it's got several functional groups. It's got an amine there, it's got the carbonyl here, it's got a um, olefinic or double bond or alkene, if you will. It's, they're all the same, same words, the same there. Same thing, really. And you've got some aliphatic CH2s. So let's have a look at the infrared. Well, first first thing to note will be this one. This is what I'd, I'd be looking for. And this is a typical uh, CH um, stretch for an alkene. And you can see it's a nice symmetric stretch. Uh, you can be seen there. Next one along, see if we can get this one as well. If we look, we've got some symmetric stretches there for the CH2s. Okay, all in the CH region, really. What else have we got here? Have we got anything else there? Let's have a look. Okay, we've got the asymmetric stretches there now for the CH2s, right next to the um, the symmetric stretches. Slightly lower frequency, or lower wave number, if you will. And what's this one here? Let's have a look. Oh, that's the uh, symmetric stretch but it's next to the amine of the amide, so that's interesting as well. So it comes at slightly lower energy. Okay, so that explains the CH uh, region. And we've got this big peak here. Now this should be pretty easy to spot um, because this is your carbonyl, and everyone should be used to carbonyls now. It looks like it's it's a little bit um, uh, low down, if you will, and that's simply because it's uh, an amide. If you look, it's got nitrogen there. Uh, connected to the carbon, so it's an amide. But a special kind of amide, this one, it's called a lactam. And lactams are just basically cyclic amides. And what you'll find is that the um, the bigger the ring, uh, the the lower the energy. So because it's a five membered ring, this is coming, let me just have a look. 1699, yeah, it's around 1700 uh, wave numbers which is pretty much spot on for a five-membered ring lactam. If it was a six-membered ring or larger, it'd be slightly slightly lower, ever so slightly lower. Look at that 1650, 1670 region. Okay, so let's have a look at this one here. This should be easy to spot as well. And that's a double bond there, look. Nice double bond stretch. Okay, so... Our primary functional groups are really, if I, if I was looking at this molecule using infrared spectroscopy, I would just be looking for that double bond and that amide stretch and the both there. The rest are pretty much dependent on, on the rest of the system, I suppose, the, the uh, CH2s, how many CH2s you've got around will change all this. And again, this is a fingerprint region, Let's see if we can pick a few of these up. And these are large contributions, so you still see all the um, CH2's there, uh, let's see kind of what we've got, we've got some little wiggles going on there okay nothing nothing concrete nothing really well defined scissor bend there, you see that? so scissor bend's coming about 1326 for that CH2 next to the amide And again, a few more scissor bends coming in that region. So this is getting pretty hard to predict this, especially if you've got a larger molecule. We've got lots of CH2s. You're going to get a very crowded region down here. And, yeah, there's nothing there. And this one, oh, this is nice. Okay, we've got a nice little rocking there. So it's rocking in unison, okay? And these are CH2 rocks. That's pretty much it for that, really. So... You look out for this one, carbon carbon double bond, and this one, you carbon out for an amide, which comes, like I say, about 1700. So that's it for now. Bye for now.